Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be doing a quick unboxing of what I just got for my tank, man. I got this nice titanium heater. It was time for me to upgrade, you know, we started this hobby buying these cheap heaters. It's not that they don't work, you know, because a lot of them last long and, and people don't have no problem with them. But some other people also have problems where the heater break because a lot of them are glass. You know, when you buy cheap heaters, a lot of them are glass. Some has mercury in them. This one, I think it just coils the heat up and heat up the heater um, or make it hot so it could heat up the tank. And, you know, it was time for me to upgrade myself and buy a good one, reliable heater that has been tested. You know, I saw a video with, where BRS did uh, investigate and see what heater was the most accurate out there. And for my surprise, this one was one of them. And I did that right after I purchased the heater. I didn't do it before. Um, I just went by the reviews once I started searching for a heater for the tank. And the reason why I got it also because the one I'm using right now is only 100 watt. One, I, I'm, I'm scared that one day I could break it while it's in the water and something could happen. Also, since it's 100 watt, and probably it's going to be working too much because the water is going to be getting colder now that it's getting cold outside. So it could get, it could, you know, stop working and I'm worried about that. So I needed something better. So this heater here is 300 watt and it's rated for 40 to 80 gallons. And guys, I don't even have close to 80 gallons. So this one is great for it. So let's open it and let's see what it comes inside which I think by just looking at the box, you already know what is inside. So let me see if I can open it. You know, it's nice that they package it nice, you know, a little foam. So, but this is the main thing why I got it. It has this little casing, so you don't get burned, you know, when you're working in the sun. Also, if you bump to it, which I doubt it, um, when you're working on there, um, I mean, it's nothing you could do. It's titanium, you know. And also, what I like about it is because it says corrosion resistant, so that's a plus. A heater that I had before, and I wasn't using it in the tank, but I was using it to mix my salt water. And that heater, you could start seeing moisture getting inside, and then the coils getting a little bit of rusted. And that's why I got rid of that one and bought the Interpet. Interpet, nobody knows a, a lot about them, but it's a great heater for me. It's been working fine. It just, I know it's not going to be enough to keep the system at the right temperature. So hopefully now, this heater, once I connect it, it's, it's going to work. And second, I hope my temperature controller will don't fail me. So that way, you know, I don't warm up the tank too much or, you know, kill my corals you know that's what i don't want to happen so nice casing i'm planning to put it standing up because in the part where i'm going to put it is where the part where the skimmer is and since it's only 10 inches long it's going to fit there perfect my water level i think right now is at 10 inches so that's going to be great that way i can utilize a little bit more space because where i got the other ones if you guys see right here even though nothing is touching it, not even the skimmer, but that's another little space that I could use for something else. So I'm planning to put this one right in that corner next to the biomedia block, standing there. Or if not, another place that I could put it, I could put it right under the bubble trapper and it fit down there, no problem. So yeah guys, so this is the new the new baby for the aquarium hopefully it's gonna do exactly what i need to do if you guys have any suggestions or anything i need to know about these heaters other than nothing that i didn't see in the reviews and in some of the videos that i look on this um heater please let me know in the comment section below i appreciate it a lot a lot a lot all right so it's uh all, all i heard was good thing about it so hopefully you know i don't get disappointed I don't get disappointed. I'm trying to get reliable equipment that's going to keep my tank happy and things are going to work fine. Um, I'm not going to connect it yet. I'll probably do it Saturday on the live stream because I'm going to be cleaning the the um, skimmer and the reactor. So that's when I'm going to take advantage to clean all that and set up the heater. 
Also, just to take the the time now to show you guys another thing I did to the tank, and is I finally upgraded my mesh green top, the DIY one. So before I had two pieces, I had that piece over there, and another one long one that I had. So now I finally got one full piece, and it's looking amazing. When you look at the tank, now it look nice and clean, and that's a plus. So. If you guys are interested in this type of mesh screen, so you don't make a mistake that I made before, that I bought one where the holes, uh, those little square was too small, uh, just make sure the hole says one quarter in size. Um, plastic, something like that, you know, plastic one quarter um, in size, the holes, and you'll be okay. Then this is your regular window framing that you get for for the windows so you could do a DIY like I did and they look really 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 nice look at this beautiful beautiful it looks like it belongs here it's not completely flush you know with my DIY hanging kit here but it do works it do the job all I want it is so no fish jump out of the tank so hopefully you know from this little space right here I got fish that could fit through there but hopefully they're not gonna even try all right guys so this is a quick one i hope you guys like this video again if you face anything i need to know about this here please let me know in the comment section below i appreciate you guys so much thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one hasta la próxima your boy calizos out see you guys